Our Torah portion begins this week with the mitzvah of Bikurim, the commandment on a farmer to bring the first fruits of his harvest, to bring them in a basket to Jerusalem, to the temple, and to present them to the Kohen. And the Mishnah tells us that some modifications were made to this procedure in order to create uniformity. That some of the farmers were literate, some of the farmers were illiterate. Kadesh Levayish, in order not to embarrass any of the farmers, some changes were made to the proclamation so that none of the farmers would feel embarrassed. Nevertheless, the Mishnah tells us that the farmers came bringing different baskets. Some of the farmers brought their first fruits in gold or silver baskets, and other farmers brought their first fruits in a simple wicker basket. Why is this? If this is a mitzvah, if by this commandment we're concerned about the embarrassment of the farmer, different people performing the mitzvah in different ways, so won't the farmer be embarrassed? I see the farmer in front of me with his gold basket, I see the farmer behind me with his silver basket, and here I am with my simple wicker basket. Kadesh HaLolavayish, in order not to embarrass anyone, why don't we just mandate that everyone come with the exact same basket? I heard a beautiful answer to this question by Rabbi Shai Shechter, who explained that while the farmer who comes with a gold basket or a silver basket certainly has what to be proud of, that he's bringing gold and silver to the temple, the farmer who comes with the wicker basket, he can be proud as well, equally proud, just as proud as the gold and silver baskets. And why is that? Because while he may not have the, the resources to bring a gold or silver basket to the temple, his wicker basket required effort that he needed to weave that basket together. He needed to put his sweat and toil into that basket. And God appreciates that wicker basket just as much as he appreciates the gold and silver basket. I think an important lesson we see from this is that sometimes what we view as the ideal service to God, we're unable to perform that. But God appreciates our efforts. God appreciates us doing what we can. And I think during this time of the year, as we approach the high holidays in the midst of a pandemic, we're all dealing with the reality that we're not able to serve God in the way that we view as the most ideal. That our high holiday services are going to look a little different this year. And many of us are even going to be staying home because we don't feel that it's safe for us to attend the synagogue this year for the high holidays. But nevertheless, even when we can't serve God in the way that we see as the most ideal with our gold and silver baskets, we should realize that God appreciates our efforts. God wants to see us weave our wicker baskets. He wants to see that even when we can't serve him in the way that we view as the most ideal, that we realize that he appreciates our efforts. He wants to see us serving him. He wants to see our hearts. He wants to see that we care. And as long as we show that we care, and as long as we show that we're thinking of him and that we're trying our best, he appreciates our service, whether it's with gold baskets or whether it's with wicker baskets. I wish you all a wonderful Shabbos.